So, quick update on this Extron's 19.5 screen. This has opened up a few interesting things once I've delved into it a little bit deeper. Uh, what I actually noticed it just looking through the actual system is there appears to be the ability to have a memory card installed on the actual unit, assumingly to increase storage capacity. Um, there's no obvious slots in or around the externals of the screen, but I thought I'd go a step further and just have a look inside, see if there was a, an SD card slot of any description. I mean, I don't really need the additional capacity at the screen itself. It's mainly going to be connecting to a computer or the main head unit, but you know, if it's in there, it may be useful to some. I also went about seeing what I could do for additional inputs on the screen. Now, the stock thing that comes with it is the air mouse, which is shown previously, and it's good for navigate, uh, basic navigation, uh, navigating around the basic elements, but it is a bit tricky to use when it comes to keyboard inputs because it's not, it's not deadly accurate on how on where you can get the pointer onto the screen. So I set about having a look at adding a different input method. Uh, one option I do have, which is what I've used with other similar Android type product, uh, products in the past, is this Remini i8. Now these are great little units. Normally connect them through Bluetooth, but they do have their own uh, Bluetooth dongle, which can also connect in things. But rechargeable little touchpad. Great little pieces of kit. I thought, just out of curiosity, will it work with this screen? Uh, additionally, it gives you the full control of having a, a QWERTY keyboard in your hand. Fortunately, I've not managed to get it to work. Um, I, connect, I can connect it to Bluetooth. Uh, there is, it does pick up the Bluetooth. It will connect to the device. Um, it's so you have the Bluetooth settings and it's currently switched off so it does pick it up and it will connect but no control there's no mouse control there's no keyboard control um, nothing it doesn't seem to want to communicate with it where the there's something in here at the moment which is causing the uh, the connection to fail or just just hasn't got the protocols to work with it I'm not sure but I've tried it with other stuff, Android systems, Ed units, computers, and everything seems okay. The other option is I just tried plugging in what is essentially a basic keyboard. And this does work. It will work if you plug in to the USB port on the side. What it will give you is some kind of basic control, but the keys are not quite mapped properly so the arrow keys will actually allow you to move up and down you can connect into uh, move into setting uh, move into various menus just by hitting the enter key you can jump back out of them by pressing the escape key um, it's a li it's not <laughs> the tab key just goes through the same things so there's some control but not obviously complete control the entering of characters is generally okay so the keyboard actually works you can import letters and numbers uh, but if you make a mistake you press backspace you end up with the screen brightness controls and volume controls appearing on the screen which is not very desirable and it doesn't actually do a backspace anyway and neither does the delete key so plug-in keyboard again not a perfect solution at this point in time there may be some keyboard settings i can download or install to this thing ultimately again it's an android system so there must be something uh but anyway the additional curiosities that brought me this far were the discovery of what looks like a uh, SD card slot somewhere I decided to just well I took out the the six screws for the roof mount plate 
um, which is essentially part of the install of the main unit anyway. And on the back of it, you just have an additional sort of flimsy cover with a, a dust cover, which covers over the electronics and everything inside, which gets sandwiched between that plate and the roof anyway, just for a little look round. So it's reasonably sparse in here. You've got the main board, which is going to be essentially the Android motherboard, CPU and everything mounted on there. It is sort of taped down and pegged down quite well. Um, I did just manage to remove the screws and lift it up just to see if I could see anything that resembled a an SD card slot but to no avail. So the rest of it is, most of the plugs are actually, they look like they've had some kind of glue applied to them to stop them coming free through vibrations in the in the car or anything like that. Uh, most curious, other than not finding a USB slot is, uh, sorry, a SD card slot, is an additional USB port which is inside the unit and does have this dongle installed into it. Now that one is actually for the air mouse. If you unplug that, the controller stops working and Again, out of curiosity, I tried dropping that out and plugging other stuff into it. Keyboard works just the same. My little re keyboard doesn't. So it's definitely something down to that. It doesn't like the actual physical connection of it or it's, it's just not reading properly. It, it will not work regardless of which one I put in. But ultimately the USB connections, whether you use the one on the side or you use that one, they are more or less the same thing. That one's just contained with inside the main unit. Uh, the rest of the stuff in here just seems reasonably just generically part of it. There's the LED light um, controller, sort of like a fiber optic thing. Um, and these infrared sensors, emitters on the front of the unit, which you can sort of see through the front. Um, I might have incorrectly stated that may be part of the air mouse's control but there also seems to be a series of infrared headphones you can get to connect to these units. So I'm expecting they are also part of adding in those kind of things. Um, but that's it for the moment. It's just a, a minor update on things we've found and uh, where we're going from now. So yeah, thanks for watching.